If you love guinea pigs, we are upping our game with the baby agouti. Yeah, so these are little agoutis. They are a South American agoutis. rodent. Okay. And yeah, so they're related to guinea pigs, but agoutis are one of those animals most people have never heard of. Right, and this is Christy Morecambe from the Wildlife World Zoo. You're our expert. I just need to give you a little shout because there are some very interesting facts about these guys. There are. These guys are such fascinating little animals. So they're only a week and a half That's old. That's insane, but look at how much hair they have. They look they look kind of ba like baby adults. That's exactly, that's thing. that is okay. the thing. So when these guys are born, that's how people describe them, is they look like little miniature adults mm -hmm. because they're born fully furred and their eyes are wide open. And it's because for a rodent, they have a really long gestation period. How long is it? So it's three months. Really? Yes. Where What's most the normal, it's like six weeks or something? Mm -hmm. Okay. And most, <laughs> like if you think of like little bunnies and mice, they're born as little pinkies. They're hairless, their eyes yeah. are closed. These guys start eating solids really quick after being born they're already eating solid food wow so they basically start eating as soon as they're hard food mm -hmm. yeah they'll they're solid. very curious they'll start nibbling they're actually really good climbers he makes a very cute little noise as well they'll call to each other as adults they're really agile and they okay. can jump six feet in the air so they're kind of like flying squirrels <laughs> kind, of, kind of like flying squirrels without oh. the little skin flaps and oh. they're not oh. able to glide. He's on my mic. That's really cool. So how long do they stay with their mama? So they live in family groups. So okay. they're very social. They often, after nursing and after being a, a full-grown adult, will still hang around for a while. And they'll cruise around. So usually you're going to have your mating pair, mom and okay. dad, and then the siblings. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So how big will these little guys get? Full grown. They can get up to 13 pounds. Okay, that's kind of big for a rodent. Right? Okay. Absolutely. I would like for them to stay this size. <laughs> yeah, and right now it's funny because they are the size of a guinea pig and people don't realize that they're going to get a lot yeah. bigger. And they serve such an important role in the environment because these are one of the few species that can crack open a Brazil nut without tools. So, uh, how hard is that to do? It's so hard. It really? Is, yeah, Brazil nuts are so strong. We have a hyacinth macaw that has over 1,200 pounds of crushing power. Right. And she can crack open a Brazil nut. But These guys can do it on their own. They can do it on their own. And why that is is because they have really sharp incisors and their teeth have extra enamel on them. So oh. it protects their teeth when they're doing that. And they'll often go and bury the nuts and the different food that they find, which is wonderful because if they forget about the nut, it grows into a tree. That is awesome. Yeah. So Christy, tell us a little bit about what's going on um, out at the zoo. So right now we have our sea lion pup and we are in our last week of his naming contest. Oh really? So if anyone has any good name suggestions, you can go to our Facebook page. Okay. Or you can come out to Wildlife World and nominate the name at the zoo and the winner gets an annual membership for a family of four. So they can come out and see That's the sea awesome. lion and the rest of the 6,000 animals that we have as much as they want for an entire year. I know, you could go for a full year and see something new every time. Thank you, you so much for joining us. We, what are their names? So we have Rosebud and Lily. Okay, that's awesome. Awesome. Um, thank you again. Yes, thank you.